all I can tell you. <sighs> what day is it today? It's Wednesday. So what's good with all of you guys, huh? What's up with you, chat? What's new on the agenda? In your various little lives? Your pathetic little lives. Let's see how much of uh, 120 I remember. Gonna admit, surely not much. Am I running against my 120 PB splits? No. 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 <laughs> I'd rather not. My, my 120 PB is a 128. I am running against the average right now. I would sooner rather go outside with untied shoelaces and then trip over and fall on my face than run against my 120 PB splits. No more 14 tally? Nah. Yeah, no, I think I'm perfectly satisfied with the run I got in 14 tally. And I was just entering a reset loop, so no thanks. I relapsed? I'm really just doing the one-off run. And I do not give a fuck how it goes. This is why I don't like 120, by the way. This, this jump is literally the reason why I cannot reset 120 at all. This jump is why I could never get into 120. It's so bad. But we're past it, and that's all that matters. It's not even that hard. It's a very easy jump. It's just, I don't get it. I don't know why, I just don't get it. Everyone else seems to be able to nail it, but I don't. This is one of those things I'm genetically predisposed to failing. Let me get a, no. <laughs> no. How about no? Then how about a, no. No, not that either. Ash, I swear to God, I'll get around to it. When Pepper comes here, she will make sure that I get that shit done. I am doing this backwards, whoops. Let's remember the route now, Laura. My grand, you want to even know? <laughs> no. Sorry, I don't, mean to, I don't mean to laugh so hard at that, but absolutely fucking not. I'm doing one 120% one no reset because I feel like it today. I am not touching 120 at top level with a 10 foot fucking pole and I never will. I do not like the category enough for that. That laugh wasn't directed at you, by the way. It was just something I would never do. Hard pass, if you know what I mean. What's my favorite spiral one category? Any percent. Any percent. It's what I started with. It's what I finished with. Well, not really. I'm never going to be finished, but... You know, it's the one that I care about the most. It's the one that I have poured all my time, energy, and love into. It's the one I will always support new people running. It's the most fun. But as it stands, I'm currently burnt out on it, so. Is it because 120 is too long of a category? No, it's because missing gems and having to turn back around for them pisses me off more than nothing else. It is so fucking annoying. Also, trying to optimize levels like Lofty Castle is such a fool's errand. Those are levels not designed to be rushed at all. In any percent, you're really not fighting the game that hard. Like you can really push your movement and get away with it. That's the fun part of it for me. But in 120, if you try and push your movement in any capacity, you'll just miss a gem and awkwardly have to jump back and try and grab it. Or I don't know, you'll fucking get hit by an enemy or whatever. It's just fucking lame, man. You can't push your movement in 120. That's what bothers me about it. No stream on YouTube is what well. you ask a lot of questions. <laughs> we were talking about this yesterday. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. You're good to ask questions. We were talking about this yesterday that I used to in like October last year, but I stopped because I get like no fucking views on YouTube. Like on here where I'd get like 90 to 120, I got like seven on YouTube. So I stopped. But I might go back to it, maybe. Because really, there's no harm in doing it. It just felt kind of lackluster in a way. Like, I don't know. It felt not worth it because, like, I don't know. What's the point? What's the point of having all this shit set up and, you know, making a thumbnail and titling a YouTube stream only for seven people to tune in and nobody give a fuck, you know? I've never advertised my six home barely comment on anything. I have, like, 60 followers. What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. I have a TikTok account because I made it when someone suggested, oh, you should post your fucking YouTube shorts on TikTok as you post them to YouTube. And so I did that for like two uploads. And yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I got followers out of that. I mean, the reason there's nothing of Spyro on TikTok is just because Spyro just, I, I hate to say, it, it's just not relevant. <laughs> like we are in a, a, a niche, 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 niche. We are in the one of the nichest pockets of the internet now. It's not like it used to be. It's unfortunate, but 
It makes sense. The game is old enough now where the new generation isn't really playing these. This is the same group of goobies. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, that might change if a Spire 4 comes out, but even then it will just be a temporary thing. Like there will be some momentum for Spiral and social media and YouTube and TikTok and shit. And it would be a good time for Spiral content creators to capitalize, but it won't last forever. None of this shit is due to last forever. None of it. It does make me think where I'm gonna be years from now as a content creator. When the Spyro well is up and truly dried, what am I gonna be doing? That is true. That is true. Well, big speedrunning content creators do have the power to maintain interest and engagement with older games, with communities that aren't... Oh well, no, I was about to say communities that aren't really getting anything, but the SM64 community gets something new every day because they have like the most comprehensive modding tools and active community of modders. Like fucking Kaze Emanwa is literally just making the game run at a fucking higher frame. Oh, that is very reductive. This is very reductive. He is doing genuinely impressive shit. But ultimately he's doing shit that people don't actually understand, but he's getting hell of use for it because it's SM64. If Kaze Emanwa, did I just boost it, John? If Kaze Emanwa hopped into Spyro and made Spyro like 60 FPS on console with all these fancy fucking render effects and shit, nobody would give a fuck. Nobody would give the slightest fuck because it's not SM64. You feel me? It's just tough. It is just tough. Spyro does not have that cultural relevancy to be around forever. What do I think I'll be doing? Exa that's exactly my point. I don't know. That is exactly my point. I think I'll just have to move on to general speedrunning content. I mean, as long as this hobby doesn't die, which I don't think it will. I think there's always a place for wanting to go fast in video games. I'll just end up having to switch over to general speedrunning content. I'll have to switch to more long form content. I'll, uh, I kind of see myself going the way of um, easy speezy, I think. You say it's a once in a lifetime event, but I don't know. I feel like my chances are reasonably solid to get reinvited. And if I get reinvited, you are absolutely coming back with me. I could tell that Ludwig and the crew at Fast 50 were genuinely impressed with my run, which is really nice to see. I think I just missed that blue. What's the feelings about GDQ? <sighs> yeah. yeah. <sighs> Look, it was during the ESA drama, right? It was during when ESA was in hot shit for the shit that Love Air came out with, you know, like women not being entirely safe and the trust and safety team not being super approachable at ESA. Stuff that has now since been resolved for what it's worth. But there was a lot of heated discussion in the ESA Discord at the time. And during that time, ESA, uh, GDQ members of staff, organizers and, you know, people on the games committee and shit from GDQ would literally come into the ESA server exclusively for the drama and existed to do nothing but post shitty little up reactions and go this and like reply with this to a bunch of shit. All fucking debacle. The entire thing, they, was, they served nothing but to be inflammatory and it pissed me the fuck off. And I had the, they had the fucking gall, right? They had the gall for when I replied to them and like, uh, this is not a good look for GDQ. You shouldn't be fucking doing this. They had the fucking gall to be like, I'm not representing GDQ. I'm representing my own opinions. No, no sis, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You come into a fucking server with your bio saying GDQ Games Committee wearing the fucking badge and the uniform and you start stirring shit. You do not get the fucking right to be like, I'm not a part of GDQ. No, 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 no. This is my own opinion. I don't represent GDQ. Yes, you fucking do. Yes, you do. Sorry. Yes, you do. You know? No, it was not Brian. I can't remember their name, but... I don't give a fuck. The, <laughs> the funniest part about it, the funniest fucking part is that after all of this, this entire debacle went down on, on Discord, by the way. It happened in the ESA Discord. I ended up checking Twitter a few days later. They had blocked me on Twitter after all of that. They were so rustled from me calling them out for being a shit that they blocked me on Twitter for it. Get a fucking grip. 
genuinely get a fucking grip. Yeah, no, petty, childish, I don't give a fuck. I can't fucking stand GDQ for that, man. Can't stand it. Yeah, literally, Pepper. It's all motivated by fucking GDQ members and stuff wanting ESA to fail. They, I swear to God, they have the biggest fucking egos on planet Earth. They think that GDQ is the only marathon that should ever exist and should get a fucking million viewers and get fucking $4 million in donations every year because we're so awesome. <laughs> like, that's pretty... It's hyperbolic, I'll admit. But that really is their sentiment. And it's sad as hell. I have undeniable proof of nepotism that goes on with game selection and people being picked for being friends? Holy shit, no way. No fucking way. You know what? The best part is that I entirely believe you. I entirely fucking believe you. I could absolutely, yeah, ex exactly. I could absolutely see that. God, that's so fucking lame. No wonder it's nothing but Nintendo shit all the time. No wonder. That's so sad. That's actually so sad. I'd love to see it if you have it kicking around. So listen, I'd love to see it. GDQ seriously needs to be knocked down a fucking peg, man. I'm so sick of it. In all fairness, ESA and GDQ are actually bounced in terms of time split between Nintendo or the games. GDQ, mm, I don't know. GDQ, I will fight you on that one. ESA, I'm doing this wrong, aren't I? Yep, I'm doing this way wrong. Man, I'm, I can't believe I'm struggling to be a 141. That's kind of sad. <laughs> For someone of my stature, that's kind of sad. But I never claim to be an expert at this category. Never have been, never was, never will be. And I haven't ran this in far too long. I mean, yeah, that's kind of what I'm here to play for. Just for chilling. But I did expect a run better than, you know, struggling to beat a 141. Oh my god, Lord, I flamed. I actually flamed. I actually, I, I, I sincerely, I pressed circle. Fucking gem. See, this is what uh, someone asked earlier, like why I don't like 120. This is why. This is why. Like barely missing a gem and I'd be like, ugh. Turn around, grab it. You know, like ugh. Snooze. Ugh. I need a drink. If only this category wasn't so long. If only I had a fridge! Exclamation point F. Hi Alex F. How you doing? I think I I don't this is really bad, but I feel like I need to stop saying thanks for the good luck for a bit. The, like, neurons that fire in my brain to make me say that are very tired, if you know what I mean. It feels like it's burnt a hole in my brain saying that so much. It's like in a retail job where, you know, you have to say the same scripted shit all the time and you get sick of saying it. I still absolutely mean to say thank you. I am absolutely thankful for people that come in and wish me good luck, but I think I just need to stop verbally saying it for a bit. I'm burning a hole in my brain. Instead, I will simply say hi. Hi, Joe Berry. That's awesome. Thank you, Icy Flight. That's really cool. That's awesome, Icy Flight. Thank you. Really cool. These lighthouses, they're dysfunctional, man. You can't optimize them. You cannot optimize those lighthouses. You can't optimize this flight level in general. Holy shit. Cut me some slack. I, I gotta do this. I just have to play that absolutely fucked. All right, I am letting my muscle memory guide me here. Let's see if I remember this shit. Ooh, that's hype. No! Why? I hate Lofty. This level sucks. This is why this is also a big reason why I don't like 120. This level sucks so much, Dick. Okay, two in a row. Fine. You know what? You made it up, Lofty. You made it up. You made it up to me. Yeah, I'm chilling, Panston. I'm having a solid day. Haven't really done much with it. Did some laundry, hung it up. It's looking kind of overcast out here now, so... Eh. Weather's kind of mid. But 
Not that that matters to me, a fucking shut-in gamer. Playing Spyro for a living. <laughs> what, is this? what is this question? I'm the kind of dog that like, you know when they're trying to bark but be quiet about it, so they go like, Buff. Buff. That's me. I'm an Buff. We really are an average Lumi Laura chat right now. You guys are just making fucking animal sounds. <laughs> this is what people think we do all the time. All right, let's see if I'm a baller. I hate credit skip. I hate credit skip. It's a dumb trick. I'm zero lives though, so I'll go for it again in the event that I get CSGO. I hate it. <laughs> I just hate credit skip and I don't like 120 that much. Whatever, we'll just do pos uh, poverty. Dumb trick. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork? So what's up guys, I'm speed running. Now I'm speed running guys, I'm speed running. Wow, that was bad. Split. <laughs> wow, that was bad. 135.48, GG. That was uh, putrid, but moving on.